Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and a review on this Kasori Dual Basket 9 Quart Air Fryer. So let's talk about the measurements and everything, then we'll actually cook some french fries and some shrimp. So it has two air fryer baskets. Now when you get this, there is a piece of cardboard right here. Make sure you remove that piece of cardboard. Each one has a tray. Make sure you keep the rubber, these feet installed. That's to help prevent it from scratching the surface. This is a non-stick surface. So there's going to be a fan and a heating element above each tray. And you can control the temperature and time of each tray. You can do it where you can have them, they finish at the same time. So if one takes five minutes, the other one takes 15. We can, I'll show you in the settings where you can have it and both of them will finish at the same time. And there is a window that we can see what's cooking. Now around back, you want to make sure and don't put this right up next to the wall because there is going to be some hot air blowing out the back. But it does have this little deflector. Let's do measurements real quick. Left to right, 16 and a half. Up down is 12. Front to back, it's about 12, but with the handle about 15. And there is a light inside each one. All right, let's go over the size. Each basket is the same, eight and a half. Left to right is seven. Depth with the tray is about three inches, but you can cook things. You can, you don't always have to use the tray, but the tray helps keep it up out of the, out of itself, four and a half inches without the tray. Now the tray, I like that they're held in there with those feet. That way, when you want to dump your french fries out, the tray doesn't come falling out. The trays are dishwasher safe. And there's a big left, right. Okay, let's take a look at the display. There's a power button. Hit the power button. It's a really nice display. Now it starts off with left. Again, there's the light. And if I hit right, it's going to turn the right light. All right. Two different displays, one for left, one for right. We can change the temperature, hit that, and now you can change the time on each one. That's super cool. It does have a shake reminder. We got air fry, rows. So if I got left selected, I can do air fry. Now, if I want to go to the right side, I can do reheat. I can do a different setting on the right. The right is going to be dry. The left is going to be air fry. So see how I can do different settings. Now, sink, finish is just like it says. It's going to sync the time so that they finish at the same time. So if I select that, and this one say it takes 15 minutes, and this one takes six minutes, it won't start this one until there's six minutes left over here. That's when sync finish, make sure that's selected. When it's orange like that, that means it's selected. Now when I hit start, it's going to, this one's on hold, you see. No, that's six hours, I'm sorry. Yeah, let me put this right one on roast for eight minutes. Now hit sync finish. This one's going to take 10. That one's going to take eight. Now hit start. Okay, now I got it right now. This one's going to be three minutes there. This one's on hold. And then this one is in a preheat first. And then after the preheat, you'll get the big countdown clock, like 15 minutes. But this one's going to be on hold. That's sync finish. Now, let me explain. Sync cook means both baskets will act the same. So say you got a bunch of french fries and you just want to cook them both the same temperature and time, that's what sink cook is. Now you're going to simply set the time, sink cook, hit sink cook at the very end. After you set the temperature and time of one, hit sink cook, it matches it over to the right. Now when you hit start, they both cook the same time and temperature. And we can turn the light on and off, looks like, on each side. Okay, so let's cook some french fries. Let's dump the french fries in here. Frozen french fries. And then let's dump the shrimp over here. All right, I know I want the french fries. Let's do about, I like 3.95, and temperature, or time is about 16 minutes. And I know the shrimp need a little bit different time, so let's go here. I want air fry on the shrimp also. I want three boxes, 3.90. Time is a lot less. Let's do about 10. Let's do 11 minutes. This one's going to be temperature time 18 minutes. Let's do sync finish. The very last thing I should press is sync finish. And now hit start. This one's on hold. This one's doing a preheat. And then it will start cooking. But I always just cook everything. I don't, I don't typically do the preheat. Yeah, we can really see what's going on. That's pretty cool. 
Okay, so I like that we can open them up. It doesn't stop the unit from working. Then you just put them right back in. It picks up where it left off. Okay, so we got under a minute to go. Looks like they're both doing a, it's doing a really good job. Yep, they're gonna be done. Now during the process, it got out of sink finish. I think that's because I didn't preheat them first. I just put the food in there and then I hit start. So somehow I got out of the sink finish. But I just changed the time so that they would finish at the same time. All right. Here we go. There's the shrimp. Wow, those shrimp look really, really good. And there's the french fries. Wow. Nice. And it shuts off on its own. The display will shut down after a while too, but you can just hit power and turn it off. And again, clean up soup. Let these cool down, but you can wash those in the dishwasher. They're kind of big. All right, let's check the shrimp. Ooh, yeah. Those are really, really hot right now. Those look, those look good, nice and crispy. Here we got the french fry. Oh yeah, the french fries are perfect. Perfect french fries. Okay, so I bought this air fryer with my own money. It is $139 right now on Amazon. It's a couple days past prime, but it's still on sale. I like the display. I like that you can clean it. It's a little hard to see if you have super bright lights, but um, yeah, it's pretty nice. I got all mixed up with the preheat. I normally don't preheat. I would, de I would definitely deactivate that by pressing the, yeah, so press that. And you can turn the preheat off and just put your food in and then do the sink finish. But no, this is a very good, this actually did a really, really good job. I'm gonna, I'm going to compare this with the uh, Ninja. Ninja's got a brand new, the dual zone or the stackable. Hey, I forgot to go over all, here's all the specs. 1,750 watts. There's all the dimensions. You can pause it if you need any kind of more information. It does come with a little cookbook, but this is just a great air fryer. If you don't mind the size, you know, you may get cross flavor contamination because you know, there's nothing stopping it. But at least you can set the two heating elements and times different. And these windows actually work. I know on the instant, the window's really dim. The Kasori or the Cuisinart, it's pretty good. That light's super bright. Let's see if, I don't know if you'll ever have to change it. It's probably LED, yeah. I know people ask if we have to change that. I can't imagine that not being LED. Okay, so would I spend $140 on this? Yes, I do think it's a nice air fryer. I did spend $140 on it. I was not paid for this video and they did not send it to me for free. So, I, it, but I will put a link to it underneath the show description notes. If you click on the link, the product won't cost you anymore, but I will get a small commission from the sale. That way I can continue to buy these products and give you my honest review. I do think this is a very, very nice air fryer. So if you could please like and subscribe and thanks for watching. So be sure and check me out over on Instagram and I have a Facebook page and a Facebook group page. If you could hit a follow on those platforms, I really would appreciate it. I do free giveaways on there also. So I love buying these products with my own money. That way I can give you an honest review. Should you buy this? I spend my own money on the product and I can tell you whether or not that's a good spend or not. So again, I'll put links underneath the description. If you click on those links, the products won't cost you anymore, but I get a small commission from the sale. It is a way of helping support my channel. That way I can continue to do what I do, buy the products. I don't, I'm not held by anybody emailing me saying, hey, we didn't like that video or we don't like what you said about this. This is my honest opinion. I'm not, I'm not in contact with these brands. I order them off of Amazon or the Roborock website or wherever I can get them. Sometimes I have to wait, they're out of stock and that's okay but I just love giving you the honest review, spending my money on it. It's, it's a whole different story. When that money comes out of my checking account, $660 on that robot, I really have to pause and think, okay, is it actually worth it? You know, cause that's a lot, a lot of money for these robots. And so that way I, I wanna give you the pros and cons, tell you what I think. And again, we got lots of exciting videos coming up soon. Uh, I'm gonna be on, I'm actually doing some really fun stuff on Instagram and TikTok, having a lot of fun there. So follow me on those if you want to see just quick uh, tippets on these products. I can't give the full 20 minute video. I mean, I guess I could on in TikTok, but I want to do like voiceovers on TikTok and Instagram. I want to give you kind of like a small, hey, 
pointers on different things. You know, I've, I got used, I, I know these robots so well that I want to start giving pointers and tips. So follow me on there. I'll be like, hey, this is how I'm cleaning the Roborock today. And you know, it may not work in a full length. I have the full length YouTube videos, but sometimes those get to be 10 minutes on how to clean a Roborock. But check me out on Instagram, TikTok. I'm going to be doing some fun things. I'm super excited about that. Again, really do appreciate everybody's support. If you could follow on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And if you could use the links down below the YouTube video and hit the like and subscribe button. I really, really would appreciate it. And again, thanks so much. I love what I do. And again, my wife says I have a hard time getting off these videos. So I'm sorry, but I just love what I do. And thank you, thank you so much. And look who just woke up from her nap. She's been sleeping and she always knows when I'm doing videos. Was that good? Oh, you're such a good girl. Tell everybody hello, Fiona. No more treats. You heard treat it out. Okay, you talked me into it one more. I think I give her too many treats. No more. Two is enough. Two's all you get. <laughs>